Hey, what's up, everyone? Ryan Arnold, aka Demon Master Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking about, as you can see below me, uh, Volbeats, Outlaw Gentlemen, and Shady Ladies. And here's a little bit different. I actually own this album. Yeah, this was released on April 5th, 2013, via um, Republic Records. Vertigo and Universal. So, so, a little fun fact as I'm pulling up my notes. This is the first of several albums to have former uh, Anthrax guitarist Rob Cagiano. He was just going to originally be the producer and do some guest solos on it, but then they liked him so much they're like, hey, want to join the band? And he said, yeah. And up until recently, he was been with the band for a while, but he recently uh, left. Probably he's going to be doing other things now. But um, this was his first with Volby. Vol first of several. And also it's the last with Basis. My, my, apologies, but I might butcher this name. What Anders... Kjol home. I don't know what the O with the slash in it means. I, I, somebody tell me how I pronounce that, because I have no idea. But uh, there are 14 checks on here, and I'm going to go through all of them. Yeah, this is one of those that I'm going to be doing track by tracks in the 2013 review series. Some of the posts as well. You might have seen the video I post. I did. So yeah. Or the update video. But yes. Let's get started. We start with. Let's shake some dust. Kind of a cool. Just a cool little acoustic intro. That leads into the next song. Uh, Pearl Heart. Or now some of the songs are all. Or some of the songs on here. A good chunk of them. Are about. Uh, basically. Uh, the title says. Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies. And this is one of them. This is about a Canadian-born outlaw named Pearl Hart, as I'm going to probably try to read the lyrics about her as I'm pulling it out. Um, as I'm reading, you know, some of the lyrics are pretty cool about her. Um, letter from her mother, now dying in her bed. Get on home quickly with the medicine. No money in her pocket, no wheels to get ahead. She grabbed her Colt 44 and went along the mountainside. Basically, in a nutshell, she's trying to get, you know... She's one of those that I can see that's trying to... It's an outlaw for good in some cases. It's kind of interesting. But uh, the song is pretty much standard Volbeat song. You should know. Probably you should know. No? And we get to the nameless one, which had a heavy moment, kind of a heavy, be heavy beginning, beginning, getting it got back to kind of being a standard, uh, Volbeat song, song. You know, I think it's about something about the outlaw ghoul in here. It's kind of a cool one, and you see something about them getting away from like something like the nameless one, but and all that stuff, which then I guess leads into uh, Dead but Rising, Rising. Um, kind of an interesting song. Um, kind of has musically, it has a mix of, um, you know, standard bull beat, but then it's got heavy. Heavy moments. They kind of remind me of Metallica a little bit. It's kind of, it's kind of really reminds me of. Like I'm talking probably some of the early Metallica, like probably that heavy kind of thrashy, like the Ride the Lightning and Master Puppets era of Metallica. It's really, really cool. But vocals kind of have the. Kind of that stuff, you know, kind of later Metallica 90s, but definitely the music sounds really, really heavy, like like those mid to late 80s era Metallica. And then we get to one of the best, um, one of the better, best, one of the highlights of the album, Cape of 
our hero. Kind of a mode of kind of like a ballady, kind of uplifty kind of song. Um that's kind of losing the love in this case there was a music video for it that kind of encapsulates it the son he loses his father in a war or something like that judging from what it looks like i could probably tell either world war Two, no probably korean or vietnam probably and unfortunately as you saw the suit the father dies and passes away in combat and you know and we see back and forth from the kid times to when he was an adult, pretty much. So we're looking, this could have been 80s, 90s. Could be that, you know, or it could be in the 60s, you know, when it's like all that stuff. Stuff, you know, hugs the coat like it's, like he's dead. There are times where it was, the, the dad was there and stuff like that. It's kind of, kind of easily a highlight of this album. And then we get to a heavy. A heavy tune. Room 24. It's, I think it's about something about death. And it has a guest vocal appearance. From. King Diamond. And when you got a King Diamond. You gotta go heavy with it. And this. Whoo. Easily to be the best song. Easily, out of everything I've listened to, the best song uh, on this album, bar none. You know, it's like like some of those never tells. Like he does his hype. It's yeah. I I can't do those kind of screams that freaking King Diamond can do, but. You get the point. He does his high pitch, you know, screams and stuff like that. His vocals are fantastic on this. The whole dang song is just freaking fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Kind of, my, I think Room 24 is kind of like something from a horror film or something like that. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody let me know in the comments below about Room 24. I think it has something to do with something like paranormal and stuff like that. But then we get to the next track. Yet another heavy track. Track, but not as heavy as Room 24. The Hangman's Body Count. Um, obviously, it's all about the Hangman, all that, the, the news and stuff like that. Um, really, another great song. Um, then we get a cover. I didn't originally like, what was the song about in this one? And then I realized, oh, it's a cover. This is a cover of a song from... Young the Giant, but it's kind of just your traditional ball beat sounding cover. You know, it's... Yeah, that's all that is. It's a cover. And we get to another one. Lola Montez. Which the lyrics revolve around the famous dancer Countess of Landsfeld. Elisa Rosanna Gilbert. But apparently they go by Lola Montez in this case. And an incident with Henry Seacamp. But again, yet again... Cool lyrics, but it's about it's just your standard Volby song. Then we get to an interesting one. We get to an interesting one. Black Bart. Ah, which is about a bandit of the same name. Who leaves poetic messages after his robberies. Um kind of a very very hard rocking, kind of sometimes metal. Song, but you gotta go a little bit heavier when it comes to something like Black Bart, one of the more famous uh, outlaws. A lonesome rider. This one all happens to feature Sarah Blackwood. I think it's a country rockabilly type of song. Not quite country. Country trying to be country, but it definitely got that country edge a little bit. Uh, it's about death, those who ride on, ride forever, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of a cool, got a good music video, too. Some of these have music videos, I believe. And Lonesome Rider is one of those that has a music video. It's kind of cool. It's got a soldier or something like that. Kind of a Civil War era soldier a little bit. Because that's what I kind of look at. It's like, oh, it's a Civil War soldier. And he's trying to, you know, find his love, but also trying to ride, run away from clearly what looks like death. That you know, cloaked hood and all that stuff, riding on a horse and all that stuff. It, it, it's easily, it easily looks like death. Pretty much, he's trying to run away or trying to come back to the living, but he can't because he is, 
you know, the spirit running away from it, from him. But uh, it's a good song. Love it. Then we get to uh, Sinner and You, just another one. Um, Kind of what I gathered from this, it's about turning your life around and not be selfish or self-centered or and self-centered. You know all about me, 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 but he's like, yeah, try to not do that. Yeah, you got lyrics like, uh, the sinner is you, there's been a kill, the ultimate sinner just don't know. Like, what's life without a little pain? The good thing is on a little break. He'll be fine and up again. The goal is to bring the human back to the world or something like that. Or something like that. Resurrection, all that. Then we're getting, we're getting really close to the end. We get to one that's kind of maybe interesting. If y'all are familiar with the, the movie Tombstone, you might know a character from there. I think it was pro played by somebody. I remember somebody played him. Doc Holliday. Obviously, he played a role. He was, I think, a gambler. Gambler. I think he's also a doc. He was a doctor at one point. But he, he played a role in the famous OK Corral gunfight in Tombstone, Arizona. Um, um, but this one's kind of a heavy, 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 heavy tune. Tune. Uh, really great. And then we come to the closer, our loved once kind of a bluesy opening singing but leads to a very heavy sounding ballad you know it's the lyrics read like a kind of like a poem about losing an poor someone someone you know kind of the, the core or the chorus it's like whatever that I want I will get I'll take the beans too and all the blame but father you're the one that I miss I'm thankful that I have our loved ones near Kind of an interesting song to close it out. Out very, it's very heavy, heavy, and yeah, it, this it closes out the album. But yeah, overall, you know, it has its great moments. You know, you think of I think Cape of Our Hero, Room Twenty Four, Hangman's Body Count, Doc Holiday, Our Loved Ones. You know, great stuff. But then there are some moments that I'm just like, mm, not really that that. You know, it's got those moments of just like I've seen, I've heard this before. It's like, but there are some, there are some highlights on here, like the ones I mentioned. They're, they're easily highlights, pretty much. Pretty much highlights. I even think Deborah Rides is a highlight, and uh, the Nameless one are kind of highlights on here. But yeah, I, I, but here, overall, I definitely for those songs, I definitely would come back to this. Yeah, and I'm so I'm kind of glad I do own this. So I'm gonna give Outlaw Gentlemen by and Shady Ladies by Volbeat a nine point five out of ten. Like I said, has its moments of greatness, and then it has its moments of not so great. Great, but overall, this is a good. This was a good album to listen to. I actually enjoyed it. But yep, thank y'all for watching. This has been my thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this. Click the like button or the dislike button. Comment below what your thoughts are on this album. Yeah, like I said, this is one of one of two that I still own, and one of a total of four. One of them being an album I just reviewed. Uh, Bring me to your eyes, it's semi -turtle. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, two I own, one of four that at one I either at one point owned or still own. But yep. Comment below what your thoughts are on this album. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. So, yeah, thank y'all for watching. This has been my out review for Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies by Bulby. I will see y'all later. And as always, keep things metal.